Hey love arters, welcome back to the love art tutorial series. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different because I literally only prepared one prompt that's about like one sentence long. So I had this idea that stuck in my head for a while now. What if I opened up a matcha store? That's not any matcha store. I wanted to mix with something unique. So maybe matcha making? Because matchmaking and matcha, it's a good pun, right? But I needed inspirations first, so naturally I turned to love art. And in 10 minutes, it generated a full visual identity package, all the way from logos, brand, to how they can be applied to different items, and even a storefront. So today I'll be walking you through the entire process of how love art did that. If you're curious, keep watching. So the very first thing to do was to prompt love art. I told it to design a full visual identity package for a matcha tea shop called Matcha Maker that plays on the idea of both matcha and matchmaking. I told it to be unique and creative. And from there, Love Art basically took the wheel. Let me walk you through each step. So before it actually started to generate the logos, it first asked me whether I wanted to see inspirations first or tell it to create designs directly based on my first prompt. And because I wasn't really expecting anything, I just clicked option two, which is to create designs directly based on my requirements. And then we started with four logo options, as you can see right here. Each explored a different metaphor. Cups with steam, a whisk inside a heart, a bowl with a heart, and a lot more as well. And because I want it to be really minimalistic and modern, I picked the first one. Uh, you know how it combined the matcha whisk with the heart? I think it's really clever and modern. And it also fits my theme of my matcha store. Once I chose the logo, where it will ask you to choose your preferred design, Lovart generated a complete brand guide, as you can see right here. It has those matcha-inspired greens, stone beige, and also a touch of soft pink. I really like it. This type system also features this sans serif look. It's paired with these typographic elements to keep things more playful. And from here, Lovar automatically applied the logo and brand system to packaging concepts. I received this craft pouch for uh, loose leaf matcha powder and a to-go cup mock-up with this brand slogan, I believe, called Spark Yuzu. And I feel like these visuals have this cozy indie feel. Nothing too flashy, but still keeps the traditional Japanese matcha-ish look. I also really like this menu. I think it's consistent with the brand style guide that it just gave me and also incorporated the colors in the color scheme it generated earlier as well. Then came the physical environment. Lover generated this full cafe storefront look with this really bougie feeling, I think. It has the dark green wall with the neon sign of the logo. After that, it asked me to select the additional brand applications for Matcha Maker. And because I wanted all three of these, I just said off one to three. And it generated everything. Love Art built all these mock-ups for a complete merchandise collection. You can see here the tote bags, pins, stickers, and shirts, all using the same Matcha Maker logo and colors. I also like how they included sample posts for social media. This made the brand feel really community driven as well and more personality based like my theme, not just transactional. I also got this really modern professionally looking website design that really fits with all the color scheme and themes of this store. So I'm really impressed with that. If I were to actually create a website, I would definitely follow this template. And because I asked for a lot of things earlier on, it also generated an interior mock-up for the store. You can see the brown sofas and the logo elements on the walls as well. It also generated me small cards, maybe for special occasions or gift cards, as well as these loyalty punch cards, I believe. That's really cute. I think it played around with all the elements that we had in a very clever and unique way. And to top it off, Love Art pushed out a seasonal promo, Valentine's Matcha Edition. 
This is so on point. It has all the rose infused ceremonial matcha cake or something, and it reused the pink accent color from the original palette. I think that was really clever, and it sounds like Love Art has a design degree, so I'm gonna follow that if I were to actually make this matcha store happen. And here you can see that Love Art delivered a clean icon set for either social media or their menu, and it gave me physical signs that I can use in the store, such as order here and pick up. From a single prompt and one logo decision, Love Art mapped out an entire brand, from store signage to digital UI, from retail products to holiday campaigns. Every asset matched the tone I chose from the very beginning. And that's the power of prompt to brand design in Love Art. But what sets Love Art apart is that it isn't just a design generator, it's a fully editable canvas. Across the top menu bar, you'll find tools that lets you adjust every detail. Insert lets you add text, shapes, or custom elements and even images. Upscale boosts the resolution for any asset. Outpaint expands your visuals beyond the original borders of that asset and also it has removed background which cleans up the image background in one click. It also has Remover, which deletes all the unwanted elements uh, very precisely wherever you brush. And InPaint allows you to redraw over any part of the image that you want, as you can see here. Smudge is also a function that I really like. It helps you blend areas or just to adjust its visual texture. And Object Selection gives you this fine-grained control over each layer or element that you choose. Lastly, you can export directly to download the asset with different output formats. So every asset you see in this project, from the logo to the storefront, can all be edited directly on Love Art's infinite canvas. No need to switch between tools at all. And if you're curious what other Love Arters are making, check out this Discord here. Our Discord community already has a lot of Love Arters who joined, and they're sharing their projects, prompts, and all the tips. And before we wrap up, I also want to show you how you can get endless inspirations from other places in Love Art too. If you go to the homepage and scroll down, you can see that there's a section called Created with Love Art. And I want to show you some other really creative visual identity projects that are already published on Love Art's homepage. For example, this one. I see that the user is asking for designs of a pug-themed coffee brand, and it's super inspiring to see how different people approach their ideas visually. I really like these designs. I think they're even better than my own. It also generated a full apron for the workers there and a full mock-up interior design of what the coffee shop will look like. It's very traditionally inspired, I like that. And the best part, you can publish your own too. So try it now in Love Art. I'm going to publish my Matcha Maker project just by clicking on the publish button here. And then you can click on publish on Love Art. It will ask you to select a cover and I'll just select this logo design that I liked most. And I'll name the conversation Matcha Maker Cafe and click publish. So now anyone can explore my full journey from start to finish. So that's everything. From one prompt, Love Art walked me through an entire brand visual identity design package for a shop that doesn't even exist yet 10 minutes ago. And now I kind of want it too. So if you got a concept or even just a loose idea, Love Art will build from scratch and bring it to life with style. Even if you came for inspirations, you might walk away with a full company idea. So try building your own and let us know what's your matcha making moment. See you in the next one, Love Arters. Thank you for watching.